So laxatives, right? This medication we use for gastrointestinal problem. Basically, laxatives we use for constipation or laxatives like lactulose we use for uh, hepatic encephalopathy. So laxatives are the use uh, for induce the bowel evacuation. Bowel evacuation means the content in the bowel can eliminate from the bowel or GIT tract. So laxatives we use for constipation or we can use for hepatic encephalopathy, especially for lactulose. So the from up to bottom, if we go, the most common one we basically will use for uh, here is called the metamosil or psyllium, right? Psyllium, you can just um, uh, buy from the supermarket and put in the water, then after a few hours, you can drink it, right? So psyllium are the bulk forming laxatives, bulk forming laxatives for use for the softening the stool and increase the bulk of the stool. Sometimes very uncommon side effect is the abdominal fullness. Patient can feel abdominal fullness or minor bloating. Another uh, most common uh, laxatives are called docus, uh, docuset, docuset sodium, docuset, right? They are surfactant laxatives or sub, they can soften the stool by increasing water content, water content from intestine, stool softener or surfactant laxatives. The other laxatives we use in the, for the patient is called magnesium content, magnesium citrate, magnesium hydroxide, or magnesium sulfate. Most popular out of all, the magnesium hydroxide are the name milk of magnesia milk of magnesia they are osmotic laxatives okay means they draw the water into intestine and promote the peristalsis why patient develop the constipation because if the bowel does not move well if the peristalsis is reduced right so magnesium hydroxide or milk of magnesia promote the peristalsis in GI. But if you prescribed the milk of magnesia or magnesium content laxatives, we have to monitor for magnesium level in the blood because of magnesium toxicity or dehydration. You have to check the patient for dehydration. You have to check the magnesium level for magnesium toxicity. The side effects are GI upset, like nausea, vomiting, or stomach pain. The other laxatives we use in the hospital are, it's called the biso, uh, bis, bisocodyne, okay? So this bisocodyne basically stimulant, stimulant laxatives, right? They stimulate the peristalsis in the GIT, stimulant. They sometimes causes the dehydration or abdominal pain or cramping, okay? Most, um, I want to tell you the most um, important laxatives are uh, lactulose or some of the laxative are glycine suppository easy to use or sorbitol lactulose is super important because 
lactulose laxative so use for hepatic encephalopathy and for constipation if a patient develop the liver failure or cirrhosis or carcinoma liver means liver does not work when liver does not work the ammonia accumulate in the blood ammonia is the waste product have to eliminate from the body but by the process of some chemical reaction that take place inside the liver but if liver does not work ammonia accumulate and this ammonia level increase and enter inside the brain and patient develop encephalopathy the underlying cause is a liver problem so it is called hepatic encephalopathy and patient are confused so basically hepatic encephalopathy we use lactulose to use to reduce or decrease the ammonia level and improve the mental status of the patient because ammonia enter inside the brain and patient get confused mental status go bad level of consciousness impaired so lactulose can save because lactulose engulf or absorption ammonia so if you ask me what are the mode of action how lactulose can work they lower the ph in the colon ph means hydrogen ion concentration which improve or promote the ammonia excretion or expel out from the body but this lactulose have a some of the side effect they cause gi upset or they cause electrolyte imbalance means sodium potassium imbalance or they can develop hyperglycemia right if patient has a diabetic you have to tell them to check the blood sugar level or they have to adjust the insulin or oral hypoglycemic agent so what are the key point we have to know from laxatives right especially for nclex exam and it is nursing intervention the laxatives are contraindicated for bowel obstruction if your patient has a bowel obstruction you never ever prescribe or if you see healthcare provider prescribed but you know your patient has a bowel obstruction you have to contact the contact with healthcare provider and also patient has to you have to caressing your patient to increase the fiber containing diet or fluid intake increase the fluid intake also tell your patient to do regular exercise so as i told you when you prescribe the laxatives or especially lactulose or other laxatives we have to monitor the electrolyte levels because the patient chance of develop electrolyte imbalance and especially the psyllium or metamosin usually take with eight ounce of water you has to mixture with the water and psyllium should be dissolved metamosil dissolve and then you drink with water lactulose may be used to decrease the ammonia what we discussed already and also uh, we use it for the treatment of hepatic encephalopathy hmm? and also we have to educate our patient report if patient have any kind of rectal bleeding right don't forget i want to recap it that if your patient has a bowel obstruction 
laxatives are contraindicated for bowel obstruction. We have to encourage or encourage the patient to increase the fiber containing food and increase the fluid intake. And also encouraging your patient to regular exercise because regular exercise increase the bowel movement, increase the peristalsis, and it is good for constipation. 